We welcome you back to Tokyo, and what a contest we've got for you in the strawweight division. Number one versus number four, Claudia Gadea and Jessica Andrade, both in their 20s. Gadea with a slight reach advantage. She's also two and a half inches tall. Back into the octagon, and Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. This fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record. 16 wins, six losses. She stands five feet one and one half inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of Niteroy, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the number four ranked strawweight contender in the world, Jessica. Bajestaka Andrade! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a big martial artist holding a professional record. 15 wins, two losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the number one ranked strawweight contender in the world, Claudia Godinha Godinha! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Don Sharp. Certainly a title opportunity on the horizon. For the winner of this match. Are you ready? You ready? Let's do it. Andrade in the yellow. Gadelia in the black. Three five minute rounds. And Dan, is it as simple as Andrade has to keep it standing? Gadelia needs to take it down. You know, I don't know, to be honest, because uh, Jessica Andrade has got excellent wrestling. She's got a strong base as well. So if she does end up on the floor, she's not going to be swept easily if she is on in the top position. Uh, I would say that uh, Claudia Gadelia is technically better no matter where the fight goes. But the, the physical advantages and the tenacity of, of Jessica Andrade finds her way into this fight. I'm surprised that she's being so calm in this early going, to be honest. I was expecting her to move forward much quicker than this. Oh, beautiful punching combinations. Feeling that power, feeling that power. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are feeling that power. This crowd here in Japan sits silent usually when they're watching fights. You can hear a lot of the action inside the octagon and the corners. Nice right hand. And she's beating her to the punch, is Gadelia. Good head, head movement from Jessica Andrade, but uh, Claudia Gadelia is landing these punches. Beautiful elbow on the inside as well. And the single is there. Gadelia looking very good, very measured here. Good yeah. counter striking. Straight down the pipe. Straight down Gadelia the pipe. said, listen, we're very similar in style. Jessica's very strong, moves forward, but she's not technical enough. That's where I will excel in this fight. An elbow there, it looked like, from Gadelia. Yeah, she's really looking for that right elbow as um, as Jessica Andrade closes the distance. I wonder if that's something that she saw in her research, possibly in a, a, um, an oh, there it is again, possibly an opportunity, banking on the aggression. Oh, and she's already opened her up. Nice job by Gadea to be physical against Andrade, who probably didn't expect this type of fight this early. See the blood pouring out of the forehead of Andrade. It seems to be a very clear um, element in her game planning. It's to land that elbow. The only person that's ever beaten Claudia Gadea is the current champion, Joanna Joanna on Jacek. Gadea 15 and 2, and like you said during the break, Dan, she feels she can beat anyone in the world as long as they're not named on Jacek. Then she knows she's in a big fight. Very nice. Big lead with the two. So much confidence from Gadea coming into this fight against Andrade. Brazil versus Brazil. They traveled halfway around the world to do this. They're gonna have to check that cut in between rounds if we if we make it through the next two minutes because 
That cut seems to be central on the forehead. Look at that work from Claudia Gadea. That's a hell of a squeeze she's got. That got the crowd energized. Known as Pile Driver Andraj, living up to the moniker so far, at least there. Excellent work by Claudia Gadelia, keeping a hold of the neck though as she was slammed. She never once let go of that guillotine, was not able to get the finish, but certainly a very strong grip there. This is better work from Andraj, who's been opened up early. How careful does Andraj need to be on the ground here? While she's in top position, I feel like she's got quite a good opportunity to land ground and pound. While ever she can keep Claudia Gadelia working for defensive positions, she can, she's winning the round. She's, she's doing well right now. Constantly keeping, keeping distance from Claudia Gadelia, not allowing her to sit up, prying her away with that forearm and landing ground and pound. This is where she has her advantage in this fight. An excellent three and a half minute start for Claudia Gadelia, but now it's Jessica Andraj right where she wants to be. And not only is Gadelia getting hammered with elbows and punches, but she's got blood dripping right into her face off the forehead of Andraj. Yeah, she's getting leaked on, but it doesn't seem to be phasing uh, uh, Jessica Andraj that she is bleeding. I mean, obviously she's aware of it. She probably knows what opened her up as well, but whatever she's in this position, she knows that she's not going to get caught with anything that's fight ending. It's submissions that she has to watch out for in this position. And Claudia Gadea needs to get her guard back before she can threaten with anything, really. Strong close to round one for Jessica Andraj. Oh, oh, boa caralho. Oh, no, 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 Não deixa ela crescer tanto na trocação. Você tem que entrar. E no final das tuas mãos, você tem que botar um pouco. Você já está em costa aqui na frente. Vamos manter ela aqui. Porque nós estamos tirando ela. Tudo bem? Great job. Wonderful. Beautiful. Go ahead, Mogul. Show ahead, Mogul. For what is great? Keep it standing, girl. You're killing her. Killing her. Step back. We welcome you back to the Saitama Super Arena round two, scheduled for three. Two of the top five strawweight fighters in the world. Dan, what did you make of the advice from the corners? Well, what was interesting is that both fighters are dealing with cuts. They both feel like they did good work, but there are obviously some takeaways from that first round. Both fighters dealing with cuts, though. You can see uh, Claudia Gadelia bleeding just at the side of her left eye. Uh, Jessica Andrade has got a cut right in the Ooh. hairline. Which is probably the most um, the most dangerous of cuts. Nice takedown from Gadea. Andraj walks right into that one, but quickly back to her feet. That's a huge positive for her. So strong in the clinch. Obviously, you know, used to dealing with bantam weights. Nice reversal there by Gadea. Looks like she might be able to take the back here, if not clamp onto a guillotine. A lot of verbal sparring between these two before this fight. The one line that stuck out was Andraj saying, Gadea is no longer a Brazil, a Brazilian. She's American. She trains there. No one in Brazil considers her Brazilian anymore. And that seemed to really get under Gadea's skin. Yeah, understandably, she's, uh, uh, Jessica Andraj says she's coming to just beat up another American girl, which is a big statement to make, you know, to try and rally the Brazilian fans behind you. But Claudia's got a huge fan base in Brazil as well, especially for the, the efforts that she put up against uh, against Joanna. Really fun fight so far, both ladies wearing it a little bit. Another nice entry from Gadea, but great takedown defense from Andrade this time. Oh. How impressed are you by what Andraj has been able to do on the ground? I am in, I'm very impressed. You, it's clear that she has the strength advantage. Her ability to move Gadea around is something that's probably unfamiliar to Claudia. 
I can't think of another time where Claudia's been moved around like this and now she finds herself in a position where she's defending takedown, uh, defending ground and pound and trying to get back to her feet at the same time. She's also getting up at the same side as the cut, so any strikes that she's taking to that side could be far more detrimental than the opposite side of her face. I know that's a minor thing to consider, but in, the, in this high level of final competition, every single thing has to be considered. Big knees now from Andrade. And this, her 12th UFC fight, the most by any female in UFC history. So evenly matched so far. Shout out to Joanna. You can guarantee that she's watching this fight. I would love to know her thoughts in this moment. Well, she's getting geared up for Rose Namajunas at UFC 217. Oh, and some big exchanges there. Gadea landed a right hand on Andrade to end that sequence. Andrade just seems unfazed by it. Eyes wide, pushing forward. Good takedown defense, nice head position to set up a knee. Oh, and a good right hand. Backing Gadea back to the fence. Just letting her hands go, and more times than not, they're connecting for Andrade. It is so difficult to keep space from uh, from Jessica Andrade. She throws everything into these punches. Very much a, a John Lineker kind of kind of style, where she sets her feet and digs hooks in. Claudia Gadelia taking deep breaths, starting to get pushed around. Reaches for a very weak single leg. That doesn't bode well. A bruising encounter for both of these athletes, but more so for Gadea, who's showing some signs of fatigue. Andras just won't stop throwing punches. This is a really big statement for Jessica Andras. She looks better with every outing, especially in this division. She's definitely suited to this weight class. Level change right, level change right. Claudia still got some fights and then she's still throwing back, but she looks gassed to me. Oh, beautiful right hand over the top. The counter punch there from Gadea, but they've been too few and far between. How tough are both of these women? On the elevator, downstairs, upstairs. Her motor won't stop running. Digging into the body. Nice, big takedown. Today they're going for an arm and guillotine. Does she have the strength for it is the question. Seconds counting down. Claudia, four deep breaths. Four deep breaths. Four deep breaths. Four deep breaths. Control that heart rate. Control the heart rate. Claudia, I need you off the fence, okay? Let's stay off that fence. We'll be back Can't in 30 move. seconds. Can't move back. Now you next to you back. Right? Okay. Pode matar. Se concentra, you can kill her. Lima, e sai pegando, Keep ó. on getting her. Come on. Keep on going forward. Keep on, Shoot, Keep on kick. Olha pra ela, kick. Vem, e vai. Look at her. Tell her to come in and go. She's dead. You got the two, two rounds. Come on. Look at this last effort from Claudia Gadelia at the end of the second round, squeezing that guillotine on, but the time ran out. We'll never know whether that was sunk or not. But it, uh, it's, it's Jessica Andrade looking the fresher fighter going into this third round. And Claudia Gadelia told her corner, I can't see anything. You ready? you ready? Last one. No, she's got some blood in her eyes. That cut is bleeding a lot. And they exchange sportsmanship. After two grueling rounds, will we see the end of the third? Excellent work by the cutman in um, in Jessica Andrade's corner. He's been able to stem that bleeding very well. How does Gadea shake things up here? 
I think she has to get on her toes. The question is whether she's got the energy left to do it. She has to get on her toes. She has to be moving. Go back to the shot boxing that we saw in the first round. Every time she locks up with uh, with Jessica Andrade, she seems to be at a disadvantage for strength. And that's what's draining her now. She's trying to fight strength for strength. And usually in this strawweight division, she can boss these ladies around. But that's not the case with Andrade. Oh, powerful knee to the midsection. Andrade performing well as the plus 220 underdog here. Down, look at that. Effortless, absolutely effortless. Especially when you consider we're in round three and what these women have been through. Oh. Working on the midsection of Claudia Gadea. Jessica Andrade with heavy top position. Digs for an underhook. Nice work. Sits the hips out to the side. Looks to limp leg out of the, the uh, quarter guard that she's stuck in. It's going to be a long and painful flight home for Gadea no matter what happens in this fight. Extensive damage put on her by Jessica Andrade. Strong, well-balanced top position. Look how wide she spreads her base. Bears over her opponent, forces them to carry her weight. Always chipping away at them as well, wearing them down. A lot of times fighters will just try headhunting down there when they're grounding and pounding, but Andrade's doing a lot of work to the body, the ribs. It's money in the bank, especially when you've got a fighter in front of you that's already showing visible signs of fatigue. Oh. Every time you hit to the midsection, it forces the muscles to contract, it forces air out of the lungs involuntarily. It's very difficult to recover, to regain your, your breath and your energy when somebody's working to the body like this. Beautiful work. And it switches up the targeting as well, so she can work to the body to open up the head. And this may be stopped soon if Andrade continues. Adelia not putting much of a fight up. Claudia trying to control the posture of her opponent, but not doing anything offensive at all. Not even trying to escape this position, just trying to stifle the attack. But it's not working. The constant work rate of Jessica Andrade is running her away with the scorecards. We may be looking at a 10-8 round here as well. Most definitely, especially with a big powerful slam like uh, like the one that Andrade used to ground this fight. Nice pass, beautiful work to pass. Through the legs to the side. Straight into side control. Is this the best you've ever seen Jessica Andrade? Without a doubt. It's clear that she learned a lot of lessons from that title attempt in her last fight. Look at this, Neon Belly. She's the bigger, heavier, more physical fighter in this uh, in this bout here. And the wear is showing on Claudia Gadea, who just doesn't seem to have the energy to, to rally and find her way back in. She has one minute now. What can she do with this last minute? Excellent work, taking the back. Andrade just continues to pound away. Gadea looks an absolute mess right now. Great work, still circling to the back. Good work for Gadea getting back to her feet, but she only has 30 seconds left to make something dramatic happen. She has that guillotine position with the, with the arm in. Will she jump guard? Ah, good work by Jessica Andrade to peel the arm off. Great sign of depth in this division. Jessica Andrade and Claudio Gadea, two top five fighters in the strawweight division. But the night belonged to Jessica Andrade, and there's her exclamation point. What a beautiful performance from Jessica Andrade. The first couple of minutes were Claudia Gadea's, but then Andrade started to take over. The crowd showing their respect for a virtuoso performance from the pile driver. 
Our move of the fight is sponsored by Metro PCS, covering 99% of people in the U.S. with a network that's more reliable than ever. So great back and forth. Early on, Claudia Gadelia seemed to have the, the quicker pans, the quicker punching combinations. She level changed and got a nice takedown here and landed some good ground and pound as well. But slowly, Jessica Andrade finds her way back into the fight and that forward aggression, that tenacity, that will to push forward and take shots to land shots and then the big slams were really exclamation marks on a beautiful performance slamming her opponent to the floor landing powerful ground and pound opening up a nice cut to the side of the eye of, uh, of Claudia Gadea and really making a mess of this fight and look at this big slam just to finish off the fight over the shoulder nice strong side control position with some ground and pound to finish excellent work a statement of a performance from Jessica Andrade let's see how the judges have it Jessica Andrade from Brazil to Japan, and it was her best performance ever, according to Dan Hardy. The official decision from Tokyo when we return. Coming up next, don't miss a complete recap of all the action in Japan on our post-fight show on FXX or watch it live on Fox Sports Go. Back into the Octagon now and Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30-25, 30-26, and 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision. Jessica Batista Andrade! Jessica Andrade, you have to feel like that is your best performance yet in the Octagon. Jessica, essa foi sua melhor performance no Octagon até agora. Que que tens que Japão? Bom, muito obrigado. Só tenho que agradecer ao meu mestre Paraná. Sem ele nada disso seria possível, eu treinei muito para essa luta, treinei demais, eu não preciso ir fora do Brasil para procurar treino, eu tenho tudo na minha casa, eu tenho tudo no meu mestre Paraná, a PRVT Guilz hoje é o maior time feminino que tem, mas é tudo graças ao meu mestre, então eu só tenho que agradecer e essa vitória não é minha, é do meu mestre. I have to thank my master, Gil Paraná, I don't have to leave Brazil to be able to train, it's all due to him, I really thank him for training me so well. I trained very, very hard for this fight. So your only loss at straw weight is to the champion, Joanna Yadrejcik. What do you need to do to beat her and who would you like to fight next? So, so a única derrota nesse peso foi para campeã. O que, que você precisa fazer para derrotar ela na próxima vez? Acho que continuar treinando. Eu prometi para mim mesmo que cada luta que eu fizesse eu ia voltar mais focada, melhor. E é isso que eu estou fazendo. Esse foi o show para vocês hoje. Espero que vocês tenham gostado. 
Agradecer a toda a minha família que está no Brasil. Esse aqui, ó, é para minha família. São as minhas origens, é o meu país, meu Brasil. E eu vou voltar muito feliz para casa agora. Obrigado. I think that I keep on improving. I have to keep on improving. This is for my family, for Brazil, for everything, for my people that I'm wearing here. まだまだこれから私自身が成長し続けるだけだと思います。ファンのため、みんなのためにシェアをしています。Ladies and gentlemen, Jessica Andraj! 4 and 1 since dropping to strawweight back in June of 2016. As Dan mentioned, her only loss coming in a championship bout against Ioana and Jacek. And you've got to believe those two will collide again one day.